Here we've been given a quadratic expression that we need to factor. Factoring is basically like doing FOIL backwards. So we need to figure out what we could put in these two sets of parentheses so that when we distribute, when we simplify it out using FOIL, we end up with this expression here, x squared minus 9x plus 18. The first thing you want to do is look at your first term here, this x squared term, and figure out what should we put in these first two spots so that when we multiply them, they come out to this first term here. So since it's just a simple x squared, that tells us we need just an x and an x. Um, you might have some problems that have a number out front here. So say this was like a 2x squared, then you would have to adjust these to get a 2x squared instead. The second thing you want to do is look at the last number here and pay attention to the sign of it. We know that these last two numbers here have to multiply to a positive 18. Um, so we need to figure out how we can get two numbers to multiply to a positive 18, but the middle terms have to end up negative. We can't do a plus and a minus because that would multiply to a negative 18. So our only options are either two plus signs or two minus signs. If we do two plus signs, that would mean that every single term would be positive, and so there wouldn't be any way we could end up with a negative 9 in the middle. That tells us we need to have two minus signs. A negative times a negative will equal a positive, and then our middle terms will both be negative, so we'll be able to get them um, to combine to negative 9x. The next thing you want to do is figure out what are your options for these last two numbers. We know they need to multiply to 18, so let's list out some numbers that multiply to 18. We could do a 1 and an 18. 2 goes into 18, so we could do 2 and 9. 3 goes into 18, so we could do 3 and 6. And those are the only options that we have. You may be able to look at these and already know which one is the answer, um, but if you don't know, you just pick one and try it. If it doesn't work, you cross it off and you try the next one. So let's start with the first one, the 1 and the 18. I know I need two minus signs. And it doesn't matter whether you put the 18 first or the 1 first. Um, you'll get the same answer because these both have minus signs. Um, so then you just distribute it out, use FOIL, and simplify it. And see if it comes out to the quadratic expression that you were given. So if I do FOIL, I'll do the, distribute the x first. That gives me x squared minus 18x. So that's the first and the outsides. Then distribute the negative 1. So that's your insides and your last. That would give you a minus 1x and a plus 18. So we got the plus 18 to work. That's good. But the middle terms, these would combine to give you negative 19x, not negative 9. So that means that this is not our answer. So try the next one. x minus 2, x minus 9. Remember, it doesn't matter which one you put where um, because they both have the same sign. If I use FOIL, it would give me x squared. If I do the first and then the outsides, minus 9x. I do the insides, minus 2x, and then plus 18. Once again, I get a positive 18 at the end, which is good, but these two middle terms would combine to negative 11x, which is not what I wanted. So that means 2 and 9 is not the answer. So try the last option, 3, the minus 3 and minus 6. If I do FOIL, I get x squared minus 6x minus 3x plus 18. These two middle terms, negative 3, plus negative 6, these combine to negative 9x. So this does come out to the quadratic expression that I was given in the problem, which tells me that I have the correct answer. So my answer would be x minus 3 times x minus 6. If you had this switched around and you wrote x minus 6 times x minus 3, that would also count as a correct answer.